Thailand and China have launched their railway cooperation projects here to be Thailand's first standard gauge double track railway line. And the railway authorities uh, in Thailand expect the plan to help the country better use its geographic advantages as a land transportation hub to boost its economic growth. But how will the cities along the rail benefit? Mao Dan tells us more. Udong Thani in northeast Thailand is a city home to less than 200,000 people. But the planned rail will link the country's northeast with capital Bangkok and eventually China and Laos. Udong Thani is surely eyeing a transformation. Once the project is completed, it will be only 60 kilometers from the city to the border with Laos and 400 kilometers to the border with China. It is on the route linking Laos and the sea and at the middle point of the line between China's Kunming city and Bangkok. These advantages will help revive the now nearly defunct Udong Thani station. Currently, it still applies the narrow gauge railroad which limits it from transporting standard shipping containers. Customers are shunning away because of the low speed. Few trains come and go, as locals often choose buses for short journeys and the feeder airlines for longer ones. But as the new railway is now in sight, the new station is set to become a new transport hub, propelling growth of local economy.